Good morning. We ended our first New Zealand video on this beautiful mountaintop yesterday afternoon. And I thought it was only fitting that we start the second one here the next day with this wonderful, wonderful sunrise. What's ahead in this video? I do not know, but we're gonna run down this mountain and we'll figure something out. Let's go. Good morning from Rotorua, New Zealand. I drove here yesterday from Mount Manganui. Uh, it took about an hour or so. And uh, yeah, I got here and it started raining and it has not stopped raining until just now. It's six in the morning the next day. Um, needless to say, I didn't get out to see anything. The big attraction here is geysers, mud pits, um, all that type of geothermal activity. But uh, yeah, it rained. So yesterday I just spent most of my time in this truck uh, talking on the phone, listening to music, and uh, drinking a bottle of wine. But yeah, I'm ready to get out of here too. It's, um, it's a very, very, it's a main tourist attraction, I get that, but it's very, very touristy. Everything's overpriced. It reminds me of kind of a kitschy Gatlinburg, Tennessee, or Kissimmee. Um, you're just being hit with stuff in every direction, and there's so many people. Um, for example, this campsite here, my tent right there, this little plot of land, this right here, $55 a night. No electricity, nothing. That's six in the morning, the kitchen's still not open. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess if I, if it wasn't raining and I got to see all this, all the, you know, the geothermal stuff, it might be worth it. It might, um, interpretation be a little different, but yeah, I'm not enjoying myself here. I mean, how can you when the jumping pillow is, uh, flat and flooded so i'm gonna i'm gonna as soon as we get a little light here and i get a, get a shower in me i'm gonna break camp and try and find somewhere somewhere that has some better weather good morning so uh yesterday i left rotorua because of the weather and uh looking for adventure so I drove, it would have been south, on what was called the Thermal Explorer Highway, which was kind of cool. I passed geysers, I passed uh, mud pools, um, just scenic rivers, and it's a very pleasant drive. And and then, uh, then I hit Lake Taro, a nice little town, and the rain started again. So I kept going, drove in the rain, and I ended up here. I was looking for adventure and I think I found it. Um, this is Tango Rio, Tanga Rairo National Park. And it's where Mount Doom is from Lord of the Rings, which is right over here, covered in the clouds. We still have bad, bad weather. Um, it's calling for rain, thunderstorms in the afternoon. And I'm gonna still attempt to climb Mount Doom. All right, I'm obviously confused. I'm here. <laughs> I think I need to drive back down to the main road and get here. So you can see the fog set in. You can see Mount Doom for a few minutes there. It looked, uh, looked pretty cool. And um, yeah, this is the right approach to the mountain. We'll get up here and we'll start the hike. There you have it. I mean, staring directly into the sun, but that is Mount Doom. Officially on the trail, and uh, yeah, it's pretty laid out, pretty sweet. Um, I don't think it actually goes to the summit of Mount Doom. I think it goes to the summit next to it, um, where there's an emerald lake and a couple craters, but we'll find out. That's a it's a nice trail. Let's see if I can do this without completely butchering the names. So over here, the snow covered mountain, which is the one I initially started up accidentally, is Rui Pehu. 
Rui Pehu. I know I'm butchering it. Um, Mount Doom, which is still an active volcano, is actually called Naga Ruho. Naga Ruho. I'm probably butchering that. And then to the left, we have Tonga Rairo, which is the name, also the name of the national park that all three of these peaks are in. And uh, let's continue. Taking her off, boss. How's the weather doing? I'd say it's pretty damn good. Uh, it's supposed to rain, but um, it's nice. It's hot. I am running most of the flat sections just to get up there in time, just in case the weather does turn. But you can see it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day up here on Mount Doom. And I'm winded. Yes. Let's press forward across this ancient lava field. It's so cool with the moss and lichen. I love lichen. So over there is the springs. So the springs. And we'll probably head over there, maybe check it out on the way back. Ah, right now, I'm on a mission. Get to the top. Let's do this. Let's do this, huh? Whew. Yeah. Mount Doom, here we come. Mount Doom. Restrooms. We have a bridge. We have people. I'm gonna pass. Good morning. Morning. Ooh. <laughs> the easy part is over. Now comes the hard part. Getting up there. Yeah. Let's go. And you can see the uh, clouds are kind of chasing me down. Ah. We came up through that valley. All through there. And around this way and then up we're continuing march forward let's do it i'm trying to hold ass. the clouds are coming in really fast and uh yeah <laughs> i could get up there before we get socked in but you can already see mount doom starting to get covered whoo and if you look way way in the distance you can see another volcano. I know that one's right on the west coast of New Zealand. I forget the name right now, but I'll look it up. Yeah, that's the coast, way over there. Whew, let's go. Getting very close, <laughs> but we're not going up that way. I guess you can kind of see a trail up the street, but uh, yeah, we're not going that way. We're going. This way, which is the saddle between Mount Doom, Doom and Tanga Rairo. <sighs> anyway, forward we go. We're in a really jagged lava field now. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm back there, said two hours and 30 minutes back down to the car and uh, it actually only took me an hour and 20 minutes to come up that way. So, yeah, I should be able to scoot back down in like 40, 45 minutes. Um, yeah, sulfur's getting stronger, and it's cool. Now it looks like uh, in one giant sediment-filled crater. It's one big open plateau up here. Super cool. There's Mount Doom being covered by clouds right now. And we're gonna push forward this way. See where the trail takes us. I think right through that clouds are the 
right through the clouds is the final summit, which will probably be our turnaround point. All right, from here, we get a really good perspective of the flat section that uh, I just came across. And we have a rough section right here heading up. Looks like a long way down there. Um, as far as everything else, really can't see. Um, the trail is still going up though, which means we're still going up. Let's do it. Fun fact about me, I have a fear of heights and this uh, whole cloudy looking into this abyss makes me very uncomfortable. Ah, yeah, it's a long, long way down there. Keep punching forward and just don't look down. Don't stop, don't look down. Don't stop, don't look down. We have the sun trying to peek out. We have a sign. The sign says three hours and 20 minutes back down to the parking lot. I made it here and, oh shoot. Hey, 7, 30, 8, 30, one hour, 45 minutes. So I have two hours or excuse me, you can only park for four hours. The guard made sure to uh, warn me about that when I left. So hopefully this is a summit. I can turn around, I can get my car out of there and under the four hour time limit. <laughs> and there you have it, the high point of the Alpine Traverse. Here's some type of plane, but uh, yeah, not much of a view, but still very, very cool. Yeah, you can see it's really, really clear now. Now you can see across that whole old section right there. We're gonna head back down towards it and back over that hump. Let's get it done. All right, now as you look across, you can see there's just tons and tons of people crossing over that saddle and across that open range. So a lot of people on the trail now. Let's go. So we got the clouds moving in again. It's just crazy how far down that valley is, how deep. And that's where the trail goes. And uh, yeah, we should be down there in about 15 minutes. As promised, a quick stop at Soda Springs on the way back. There you have it. Pretty cool. Almost back to the car. And uh, good thing, it's starting to drizzle a little bit. So, this looks like the total is gonna be right at about four hours up and down, which is right at the parking limit. But um, yeah, getting it done. There you have it, that was tough. Um, tough, but very doable. Uh, luckily, the weather held out. Some great views, got some good exercise, and uh, yeah, time to find find the next adventure. Be sure to subscribe. There will be more videos coming from New Zealand, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching.